Shankarpura Mallige, a variety of jasmine, is grown in Shankarpura and nearby villages in Udupi district of Karnataka. This is the most sought after flower for auspicious occasion and marriages of Hindu religion. Today, it is hard to find an auspicious ceremony or festival in Udupi where Shankarpura jasmine does not feature. The village Shankarpura lies between the towns of Katpadi and Shirva, 3 km east of NH88. Jasmine grown in and around this village is called Shankarpura Mallige. In Karnataka, the jasmine flower is called Mallige. Three most popular species of jasmine are cultivated in Karnataka in three different regions. Of them, Mysore Mallige, Jasminum trifoliatum, is the most famous, grown in Mandya district. The second species is Hadgalli Mallige, Jasminum azoricum, grown in Belari district. And the third is Udupi Mallige, Jasminum sambac, grown in Shankarpura and surrounding villages. For weddings in the Konkan region, mostly of Hindu religion, jasmine strings are used to decorate the bride. Even in daily life, jasmine strings are worn by Hindu women in their hair. Jasmine is used daily in temples, at festivals like Bhuta Kola and at various religious shrines. Shankarpura Mallige suitability to the late right soil and the humid weather contributes to its characteristic strong fragrance, white color, and large size. This has earned it a geographical indication GI, tag. A geographical indication GI, is a name or sign used on products which corresponds to a specific geographical location or origin. Two more products of Udupi enjoying GI tag other than Shankarpura Mallige are Mattu Gulla a brinjal variety grown in a village called Mattu near Udupi and hand woven cotton sari of Udupi. Shankarpura Mallige is cultivated by about 7000 growers and is grown on 116 hectares in Udupi. Its production is estimated at 863.55 tons valued at 12.09 crore rupees. The Christian community of Shankarpura started the cultivation of this jasmine variety nine decades ago. Reverend Basil Salvador Pers was sent to Pamla, a town near Shankarpura, as the new chaplain on 14 April 1934. He saw poverty everywhere around Pamla. Most of the topography being hilly, Father Pers thought that the area of Shankarpura was not suitable for paddy cultivation but suitable for jasmine cultivation. He knew jasmine cultivation was in practice at Bhatkal. He encouraged people to cultivate jasmine. He sent them to Bhatkal to bring jasmine saplings. During those days in Bhatkal the jasmines were tied using cotton thread. Even now also Bhatkal jasmine buds are tied with the help of factory produced threads. Such flowers were not liked by Hindu customers for use in religious functions. So banana plant thread was being used on the request of those users. Their wish was honored and by this practice not only jasmine cultivation but also plantain plantation flourished. During mid-1940 jasmine trading center called Mallige Katte came into existence in Shankarpura. Later on as the bus service started in the coastal region the flowers were sent to Mangalore and far off places. After the air travel service was introduced at Mangalore Airport at Bajpe flowers were being sent to Bombay and even to Gulf countries. In Shankarpura, there are four jasmine cats where agents collect jasmine and selling to wholesalers. Here agents sit together to fix the price that they will be paying the farmers. The price is determined based on the demand from their prospective wholesalers and bulk orders are given well in advance to the agents. The jasmine buds need to be picked before the sun touches them so they remain fresh. Freshness of the flower is a key factor in its fragrance. Open flowers are generally not harvested as a large amount of them is needed to extract oils and they lose their fragrance sooner. After picking the buds they string the them using threads made from plantain bark. This takes considerable skill and those who make these strings have perfected it since childhood. 
Our strings need to be ready before the agents from the cutte send their guys to pick them up. Is important for everything to happen in time. Breakfast can wait, but the flowers won't. They just bloom. The stringed flowers are first measured as chidi or a handspan. About 70 flowers make one chidi. As many as 800 flowers go into the making of one chendu, while four chendus make one te. Agents send their assistants house to house for collecting flower chains and bringing them to the katte. Most of the wholesale and retail traders are from Muslim community. They arrive to the katte around 11 am. Once the flower strings reach the katte, they are segregated according to size. They are then wrapped in banana leaves and ready to travel to cities within Dakshin Kannada and Udupi districts. The flowers leave the katte by 12 noon. From places like Mangalore, they are exported to other states in South India and sometimes even to Dubai. Mumbai is a major destination. On long travels, the flowers are refrigerated so they last up to three days. However, refrigeration for long periods can cause significant loss of fragrance and texture, which makes the flower lose value in the market. It is noteworthy that like the plantain string that ties the jasmine buds, Malige of Shankarpura weaves a bond of communal harmony among the people from all major religions of region. Thus, this beautiful flower spreads the fragrance of peace and tolerance.